Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. This is the first video for 2021 on my channel and I'm so hopeful for this year. I hope it's going to be a good one for us all. I know 2020 was a rough year for all of us. So hopefully 2021 will be good to us and we will have a good year. I'm really hopeful for this year. I'm really excited for my channel to continue to grow. I finally hit the 5,000 subscriber mark and I'm so excited. Now I do have a lot of exciting videos coming up for this year. However, I want to get your input. So what kind of videos do you guys like? I know last year I did experiment quite a bit. I did some vlogs, a lot of reviews as well for beauty products, luxury high-end products. I also did some skincare tech and I also did a fashion haul. So I want to know what you guys like to see on my channel or what you would like to see more of or perhaps maybe less of, things that you didn't like. Let me know in the comment below and I will go ahead and gather all of your comments and hopefully create an even better channel right here for you guys. So today I have a new review for you. Charlotte Tilbury recently came out with some new products and I have a couple of them and I do want to review them for you guys. Charlotte Tilbury revamped her Hollywood Flawless collection. She created a, a new palette. Actually, she created a couple of different ones. This is a luxury palette in Star Aura. Um, I went ahead and went for this one. I just felt that it would create such a beautiful type of look. Um, the other one was a little bit more intense. I will insert some pictures um, of the other palettes as well, but I did end up going for the Star Aura. Charlotte Tilbury also released new shades in her Hollywood Flawless filter. Now, this product has been out for a while. It is a beautiful product. I've never quite purchased the full size until now. I have used this product in samples. I'm um, usually with my orders. I always tend to go for the Hollywood Flawless Filter samples and I did enjoy the product. I always had my eye out on it, but now with the re-release, I went ahead and got the full size. Now with the release also, she came out with a mini version of this as well for touch-ups throughout the day, but I will go into more detail about this product um, and let you guys know exactly how I now use the Magic it. Magic Lip Oil was released earlier last year, but it was released in a clear version. Now this one is a tinted one and she did come out with a couple of different shades. I went for the Rose Lust and I just went ahead and added it to my order. So we will be trying this one out with all of the other products that I purchased. Now let's talk about the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This product has been out for a while. Charlotte Tilbury has created a couple of more shades in the collection and I'm really glad because more skin tones can can really appreciate and love this product. This one is supposed to act like a filter to your face. So I usually use it underneath my foundation. And this creates kind of a base for your foundation and gives you a filter much like an Instagram type of filter. Now, I did already apply my base today. I went ahead and used a Hollywood Flawless Filter. Again, this one is in 4.5 medium. And what this does is it creates a youth glow when used underneath your foundation. You can use it over your foundation as well to kind of create that glow like effect especially if you're wearing a matte type of foundation this is perfect to give you that glow effect as well now this one also perfects your look um, it's enriched with a lamellar filler um, so it acts like a digitally enhanced filter for your skin product. this product gives you a soft focus to your skin so that you just have luminous skin that looks baby soft a lot of you might be thinking, well, what's the difference between the Wonder Glow and the Hollywood Flawless Filter? So both of them act like bases. Both of them can be used as a primer. I feel like the Wonder Glow is solely a primer. It doesn't have any coverage like the Hollywood Flawless Filter does. This one has coverage. It also acts as a primer. It fills in your pores. The Wonder Glow does too, but not as much as the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I did do a side-by-side -side kind of on my hand and um, I went ahead and applied both. And as you can see, the Hollywood Flawless Filter has a lot more coverage than the Wonder Glow. The Wonder Glow is just a primer. It has a little bit of a glow effect, but I feel like the Hollywood Flawless Filter adds just a little bit of that oomph to the glow and a soft focus to your skin. I just zoomed you guys in because we're gonna get right into the next product. This is the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter and the colors are just so beautiful. I definitely see myself using this on a day-to-day -day basis where I don't want too much makeup, but just enough to kind of give me that glow. Now, all of the colors are pretty neutral. Um, I do see a little bit of shimmer in them, but not too much. So we're gonna use 
this shade right over here and use it as a prime shade all over my eyelid. This is such a pretty champagne shade. I feel that it really gives such a beautiful glow to your eyelids. It's not too much by any means, but it's very pretty. All right, let's get right into the next shade. This is kind of a pop of pink. I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a transition shade. That is very pretty. You could honestly use this pink shade as a prime shade as well. It's just, it's very soft and minimal, just very beautiful. Now let's right. get into the next shade. I am going to use this shade here as the smoke shade. Uh, just it being darker, I just really feel that it would look nicer on the outer corner. And then I'll use this as the inner corner type of shade. I love this new formula. It just, it's not patchy at all. Sometimes with Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows, even though they're beautiful and they do ultimately blend very well, uh, but when you apply them, you do see a little bit of patchiness, but this one doesn't have that anymore. So I do like the new formula, very beautiful. All right, let's pick up this last shade and let's apply that to my inner corner. Very beautiful. I'm really loving that champagne smoky look. The shades really blend together so beautifully, just like butter. As you can see here, the transitions are just so beautiful. I think this is going to be a great palette for the spring and summer months to come. And it's just, it's a very pretty eye look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara and eyeliner off camera and I will be right back. And that's the finished look. I went ahead and added some eyeliner, some mascara, and I did do a little bit of contouring. So. I did use the Hollywood contour wand to contour around my face. And then I added a little bit of the airbrush bronzer just to give a little bit of a warmth and also to set in the contour wand. And then I used some of the Color of Dreams Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow as blush. I added some highlighter using the Hollywood Beauty Light wand and then I topped it off with the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter as well. So all of the Hollywood products, I went ahead and used them and created this beautiful sultry look. I'm really loving this glow that it's giving. Now usually with this type of look, I think that the super nude shade would be perfect as a lip shade. I probably will add this one, but I do want to try out the lip oil. Now this one is in shade shade Rose Lust and I love a good kind of a lip gloss or a lip oil. One of my favorites is the this Dior one. This one in 001 in the Lip Maximizer by Dior is one of my favorites. As you can see, I am almost out again. I repurchased this one so much. Every couple of months, I usually always use this pretty much every single day. I love this stuff. So let's see if this one can be a competitor. This one does have a tint to it. Let's see what it looks like. Now the weird thing about this is it comes with a little roller ball. When I was a kid, this is how lip glosses used to come out. I'm just trying to get the color out. Yeah, it's just, it's a little roller um, that you roll onto your lips. I have to say, I used to hate these rollers when I was a kid. I remember how they used to fall out and they used to be a hot mess. Uh, but let's see, maybe Charlotte Tilbury has perfected so, them. So I do think the product feels nice on the lips. It's nice and thick, very moisturizing, but I hate the packaging. You can't get anything out of this. And I don't know, I just, I never liked this kind of packaging. All right, there we go. I think I got a little bit more to come on. You just have to squeeze the tube, allow some products to kind of get out, and then 
kind of use a roller ball. I, I don't like this type of packaging at all. It is a pretty product. I love the color. I definitely see myself putting this in my bag and when I need it throughout the day, I'm using it. But I do wish that the packaging was just different. I'm not a huge fan of the little roller ball. Um, I don't know, but I do like the product. Very moisturizing. The color is very pretty. I think it goes very well with this look. Uh, but needless to say, I do still want to remove it and I do want to add the Super Nude because I feel like it would look very beautiful with this look. I'm going to go ahead and take off this lip oil. It does leave a, a lot of moisture on the lips when you take it off. And I do still see a little bit of a tint as well. I'm going to use shade Super Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I did do a full review of these nude lipsticks. I will link it down below for you guys. This lip shade definitely goes so well with this look. Altogether, I am loving this sultry look. I think the palette is beautiful. It's definitely a day-to-day -day type of palette. I love the shades. I love how well they blend together. The new formula is perfect. I'm really loving this palette. I also highly recommend the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I think this is an ingenious product. I love that you could really use this on its own without any foundation, but underneath foundation, it gives such a glow to your skin. It really acts like a filter it really does your pores are so minimal if not non-existent really i really highly recommend this i think i would go for the full size but if you guys want to try it out first i definitely would go for the mini size version i believe it's 15 dollars for the mini size um, but it's nice to kind of experiment with it and to see if you like it um, again you can use it underneath your foundation or on top of your foundation it's a very versatile product and definitely a must-have in your makeup collection as for the lip oil i do think this is a beautiful product i love the way it feels on the lips it gives so much moisture but i do hate the packaging that's really the only downfall to this product i wish the packaging was different i feel that now we have just so much better makeup and so much better packaging and this is such an old type of packaging that i really dislike i hate how you have to really squeeze it i feel that you will really waste a lot of product and I just don't like that rollerball. I really don't like it, but the product itself is beautiful. The lip oil feels so nice on the lips and I really love the tint as well. So I will definitely use this whether or not I will repurchase it. I'm not sure. I still need to use this a lot more and I really need to love that lip oil in there so much for the packaging to not be so problematic, but it is a good product with poor packaging. And that's it for my review today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and if you are thinking about these products, I hope I made it a little bit easier for you. I will link all of the products I mentioned today down below, so be sure to use those links. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.